Hey guys, all right, so I'm here to show you a very cool reading vocabulary sounding out word today for little kids. All right, so what you will need first is ugh, some note cards, regular note cards. Then you'll need scissors, a writing utensil, a blank piece of paper, and either a bag or an envelope. All right, so what you will need to do is take these post-it cards and you need to write A through Z on them, the alphabet, on the cards. You don't have to do it big. You can do it big if you want, if you got enough post-it cards, but I did them kind of small. You write A through Z on the post-it cards. Then you take another post-it card and you write the vowels out on the post-it card twice. Then you cut them all up. And we have little letters, Z, E, A, and so on. So, you mix them around, then you put, place them into your bag or your envelope, or your envelope. And you can still mix them in there too. Next, you will need the game board. This game board is simple. I always create things for the ages around like six, seven, due to the fact that I have a son and we play this game. All right, so this one you got W blank N, this one you got S blank N, D blank D, O blank E, blank W O, P blank T. So some of these words can be multiple different words. Well, a lot of these words can be multiple di different words. All right, so. You can have one, two, three, four, how many game boards you want to have. But I'm just going to do me because it's just me. So, you would take, your child will take the game board and then take the envelope and shake it and pull out two letters. I have C and Z. They then have to see, can C or Z, C and Z go into any of their words that they have on here. Now, once your child gets a little bit more advanced, you can start timing them. And after they do not get it, you can put them back into the envelope. But right now, I would not encourage timing them, especially when kids are, especially when your child is just beginning, because they start to get frustrated when you're like, okay, 10 seconds left. Some kids may find it, fun but a lot of kids find it frustrating because they can't get it if they can't get it they'll be like oh i can't get it and give up so i wouldn't encourage timing them right away so we're gonna say we're not timing so like i said you draw two i couldn't use c and z e and i is what i just got so when you're playing you put them there Ha encourage your child to sound out each letter and try the new letter up here in every one. So, for me, I'm going to start with the W blank N. Wah, wah, wah. I'm going to try the I. I, 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 no, no. And then put it together. So, it went. So, I will take the game piece and put it in the blank. And now you got win. The object is to get, the objective is to get all your blanks filled in. If you can still use the E, use the E too. So, all right, so we're going to try, you try all of them, but I recognize that I can possibly use it in the last one. It's a P, 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 E. I don't know if you are to the fact where you are telling your child the different sounds the letter E can make or just the one that it can make. And then you put it there, pet. P E T. If you were playing against a different person and you got the letters for the letters first, then you would just have two and the other person will have none. And you just keep going until you fill up your card. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you play at home. It's fun. It's educational. It makes them actually practice sounding out words, putting it together. And then it's, it's just fun, especially when you got more than one person. If you got siblings at home, you can spice it up a little bit and have them do it and then read. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Be safe.